Well, tonight and tomorrow, you can see an out of this world experience. This is pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Amanda is back now with how and when you can see seven different planets. Tell us all about it. Yeah, so this is a pretty cool lineup of seven planets. Now, only five are visible with your naked eye here, but you'll be able to see them tonight and tomorrow night. Tonight, we will have a few clouds around, but tomorrow night on a date night. Yeah, we should have clear skies to see this again tomorrow, but you have to do it at a very specific time if you want to see all seven. 640 is when I suggest going outside p.m. tonight right after sunset. The sun will just be below the horizon and you have to do it right at sunset here because Saturn and Mercury are going to dip below the horizon as the sun continues to get lower and lower. So Saturn and Mercury will be lowest on the horizon in the western sky where the, in the direction that that sun sets. I suggest maybe getting uh, somewhere along the beach so that you have a clear view of the horizon. Neptune it's up there, but you'll need a telescope if you want to see that one. Venus is going to be brightest in the sky, a little bit higher up on the horizon. Uh, again, looking toward the western sky here. Uranus, again, you'll need the, te the telescope to see that one. But Jupiter, high up in the sky, relatively bright. And Mars, you'll be able to see as well. Mars is always a cool uh, planet to spot because it has that reddish color. And if you have trouble spotting them, you can always use an app on your phone that where you actually take your phone and point it at the sky and it'll tell you what you're looking at. That's a pretty cool way to kind of distinguish where all of these are at. And if you have binoculars too, you'll be able to see the colorings on Jupiter. So pretty cool stuff here again tonight and tomorrow night, but you got to get out there pretty early if you want to see all seven guys.